In this Monday makeup lesson, I'm going to be teaching you how to recreate this makeup look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then click subscribe below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Hope you enjoy this look and let's get started. To create this look, I use the Fenty Beauty palette number one, which is the neutral palette. I love the shade so much. It's just the perfect little neutral palette. We've got three mattes and three shimmers in here. A great selection to create any neutral look that you'd want to wear day to day or even for a special occasion. Now, I'm not great at swatching, but I do want to say that they feel buttery and creamy and lovely. And on the eyes, which I feel is the best place to show you, this is what it looks like. So I use the matte shades to create our framework. So that's on the outer edge, the crease, and under the brow. And then I also use the shimmers as a one, two, three on the lid. I'll explain exactly what I'm doing, but I just wanted to show you guys on the eyes. So let's get started with recreating this look. So as always, I started off by applying some eyeshadow primer all over the lid. Now my lid is kind of sticky, so I'm actually gonna start off with the neutral shade. You don't necessarily have to do this, but for beginners, I find having a silky base to work on just makes the whole process so much easier. So if your lid feels a little sticky, just take a translucent powder, or in this case, we're gonna use the light base shade, which is the first matte shade. Now this is about one shade lighter than my skin tone. That's why I'm using it. However, if you're not as pale as me, you might wanna add in a little bit of the other two matte shades in to make sure your base isn't too light. You never want your base to be too light, particularly if you have hooded eyes because it will make your eyes look more hooded. But for me, this is about one shade lighter. So I'm gonna take that on my blending brush. I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And what that's gonna do is just set the lid in place. And because it's the same formula as the other shades, it's also gonna create a nice silky base for us to work on and blend over the top of. I find it works so much better using an eyeshadow versus using just translucent powder. You just get a better blend. So when we take our next shade, which is our mid-tone shade, I'm gonna be using the one in the middle. It should be about half a shade darker to a shade darker than your own skin tone. Once again, mix and match those matte shades to find the right one for you, provided you keep it matte, because mid-tones should always be matte. And I'm gonna take a pencil brush, so any sort of smaller brush that you have. Don't use your blending brush just yet, because we want to make sure this is quite precise. So that's why I like using a pencil brush. And we're gonna be working in this area. So this is the crease of the eye. This is where the lid creases into the eye shape. And we're going to then be blending it upwards towards the brows. So I picked up a little bit of the eyeshadow on my pencil brush and I'm not gonna start on the outer edge. So this is where the outer edge is. I'm gonna start just slightly in from that. This will just prevent my eyeshadows from blending out too far when I go in to blend them. You never want your eyeshadows to blend out too far. You want it to be nice and lifted. And the best way to do that is just take your brush, lay it up against the edge of your nose, eye and brow, and remember to keep your eyeshadows in from that point. So place your brush just slightly in from that point. You should end up with something that looks like this. Now I've placed a lot there, we're gonna blend it in a second, but I just wanted to show you the area that it's gonna be in. Also, keep your eyes open. This way you're making sure that you're really hitting that crease area above the lid. Remembering to keep it in from that outer edge, so line up your brush with your nose, eye, and brow. And also, if you're wondering where to stop and start from the inner corner as well, just create like a parallel line and use your lid as a guide for that. And just keep your eyeshadows in from these two points. So now that I feel like I have enough eyeshadow on there and we're keeping in between our two imaginary lines, I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna softly sweep and blend this out. And you might ask, why didn't I use a pencil brush for this? Pencil brush doesn't have that same soft blended feel as a fluffy brush does. That's why we use a fluffy or a blending brush to soften out our eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna blend this over and back in the crease area, remembering to keep within our lines again, blending slightly upwards towards the brows where it should eventually fade into nothing. Now 
Now we're moving on to our next shade. I'm going to take the contour. So I'm going to use the darker shade as my contour, which again is a matte shade. It doesn't necessarily have to be matte, but in this case it is. And I'm going to take that pencil brush again. It does have a little bit of mid-tone on it, but that's okay because it's going to help with the blend. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a wedge shape on the outer edge. So I start by stamping just on the outer third, and then I bring it down onto the lash line. And then I softly sweep it upwards, remembering to keep that nice upward motion towards the edge of the brow, keeping within our lines again, very important, but this will give the eye a lifted appearance. Once I have that on there, I then take my blending brush and I'm going to softly sweep this out. So what I do first of all is I sweep over and back, like downwards. This will just soften out the eyeshadow a little bit. And remember not to blend out too far, keeping it within that imaginary line. And once I've done that, I can then sweep it over and back in the crease. So going into the inner corner. So you really want to keep our eyeshadows in this sort of area. So right by the lash line and then up and over into the crease, but our mid tone is always higher than our contour. So don't bring this up too high. Keep it nice and low on that outer third and on the outer third of the lid and the crease. Very important. Now I just want to mention this real quick because I've had a few comments about it. People think that my blending isn't great because of this sort of area here. As you can see, it looks like the eyeshadow is kind of choppy or patchy in this area. It's actually not. I have a lot of veins in this area, probably from doing makeup tutorials, to be honest. And so basically it has like a texture there, which makes the eyeshadow look like it's not doing its job, but it is. I promise you. It's just when I have my eye at a certain angle, the vein looks a little bit more obvious and then it eventually settles after a while. But I wanted to mention it just because I have had a few comments about it. So now I can direct people to this video to help them understand it. But there you go. Now we're going to move on to our next shade and this time I'm going to be using my fingertips and I'm going to start off with that pinky tone. And this pinky tone doesn't actually show up that pink, at least on me it doesn't. It has more of like a rose goldy sort of feel to it. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner of the lid. So not anywhere else, inner corner of the lid. I then took the other shade, which is the darker shade next to it, which has that sort of bronzy tone. Love it so much. Actually, as a smoky eye, this would be beautiful. But I just took this on the outer edge of the eye, once again, using my fingertips. Don't blend it just yet. Just apply it onto the lid. And then I took the first shimmer on the last row and I just used this on the center of the lid just to add a nice bright appearance because I love the way that it hit the light. So that way we have pink in the inner corner, the champagne -y color on the center, and then the bronze on the outer edge. So you should end up with something like this. Once you've done that, you can then take your blending brush and just very lightly, very lightly, just sweep over the top just to soften out any harsh lines. If you don't have harsh lines, don't worry about it probably don't have to do this. To add a little bit more dimension to the look, I'm then going to take that contour shade again, which is that matte shade. And I'm just going to apply that right at the lash line, just kind of pressing at the lash line, just just adds definition. And then what I did is I mixed the last two matte shades together. So the first one that I was using and then the other one as well. And I just applied this underneath the eye, just once again to add some dimension, working just underneath the lashes on the outer two thirds of the lower lid. So you should end up with something that looks like this. Finish off with liner, lashes, mascara, whatever way you like to finish off your eye makeup looks. And there you go. It seems so complicated because I break it down in so many steps, but I promise you it's not. Give it a go. I'd love to see you guys recreate it, but that is the finished look. If you learned something from this video, please click the like button below and share it with someone that you know that loves makeup. You can click on one of the videos on the screen to keep learning, or you can send me your recreations or any questions to my Instagram or my Twitter. 
All the links are below. Thanks for watching and I hope to welcome you back soon.